Excellent! Hello everyone and welcome to Paul's Hardware. Today's video marks a huge transition for my channel because as we all know, graphics cards are just insanely expensive right now. Memory for computers is also really overpriced. So basically PC gaming is dead. We should all give up on it, move on to something else, something that we can do with our time. And for me, of course, since I'm a YouTuber, I gotta make that money. So I went and I looked at the different categories of YouTube videos that I might be able to make that have lots of views going in on them right now. And uh, well, makeup, I mean, that's everywhere, right? It's just it's people, they put on makeup and then they post a video on the internet. So that's what I'm gonna do. Changing my channel name now to Paul's Skincare and Makeup. So I hope you guys will stick around along for the ride. I imagine it'll be right up your alley at the same time. So, now getting started with the makeup, I'm gonna assume you guys have already moisturized. That's step one. And I'm gonna start off with a primer because it's very important to prime before you do all the other things. This is the Professional Matte Rescue um, by Benefit. Uh, it has the benefits of giving you coverage, uh, covering up the pores, and also a matte finish so that you can apply all of the other stuff on top of it. Put it on the back of your hand. I gotta remember a little of this stuff goes a long way. All right, now this is gonna help prevent places where you might get oily and shiny. Of course, wanna pay, pay special attention to your T-zone, which is the area on your face that looks like a T. No glossy finishes allowed on Paul's skin care and makeup channel. Next product I'm taking a look at today is uh, from Smashbox. This is the 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. As we all know, uh, Anna Aliasing uh, shading is very important in the finished rendered product. Uh, so I wanna make sure that, especially around the eyes, that we got uh, that all set up because the eyes are the window to the soul. Put it on the back of my hand, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mush it around a little bit. So warming that up, that will we'll glide on better. And then if you have hooded eyelids, I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do this. As you can see, glides on, because I've put it on my finger first. And you can probably already see how much better my eyes look right now, right? Okay. Eyes are primed. Next up, of course, uh, we gotta move on to the eyeshadows. So I have two collections here from Too Faced. This is the Just Peachy Mattes collection. Uh, they're all peach shades and I believe they actually smell, they smell like, it actually smells like peach. Actually, it smells like a Cabbage Patch Kid. Did you guys ever have Cabbage Patch Kids when you were, anyway. Uh, this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we have a wide variety of colors in here, right there. So any choice that you want to make your face, you can make your face that color. Actually, this is mainly for the eyeshadow, so. Now, when faced with a difficult decision like this, I find the best thing to do is just read the names of the different colors because they all have names that usually aren't colors. They're usually only vaguely related to colors, like Tempting. There's a color called Tempting, which isn't a color. Uh, Charmed, I'm sure we have Cobbler, Candied Peach, Peach Tea, Peach Punch, so pick the name of the color that you like best, and usually that's what will uh, match best with your complexion. It's a very highly scientific process that they go about when naming all the different colors. Just something to keep in mind. That's why you watch all the skincare and makeup. So to apply this, I have my Morphe E22 brush, uh, which has a nice rounded tip on the end. And we're gonna start with the transition color. Uh, and for that, I'm gonna go with peach tea because peach tea is delicious. So let's go ahead and just Get some on the brush here. Tap off the excess. We can see there's not a lot of fall off here with the peach tea. Fallout. Fallout. There's not a lot of fallout with the peach tea, which is good. That's a good thing. Now I'm gonna pay it like where the crease is in my eyeball here. Uh, uh, hold on. I'm applying using a windshield wiper motion, uh, which helps skim away all the excess. I also provide e even application across the hooded area of my eye. So my transition color is now applied. I'm gonna go into my next color, still using the same brush, Morphe E22. Just gonna knock that off a little bit. And I think from the peach tea here, we're gonna move down to fresh picked because you know I'm all about that fresh, fresh produce. And again, just, just loading up the, the brush just a little bit. Get a little tap, little tap tappy there. And then I'm gonna apply it on top of and blend in with my initial transition color, like so. As you can see, I'm twitching my eye in a very rapid fashion that helps with the uh, equal dispersion of the eyeshadow. 
Next up for the outer V part of the eyelid, we're uh, switching over to a Morphe E17 brush. It's a little bit narrower, gonna allow us to get a little bit more detail in there. And here you're just going for another accent color on the outside edge. I was originally thinking about some chocolate dipped, but you know, I wanna live dangerously and uh, maybe, maybe going out later tonight. So I'm gonna actually switch over to the peach sangria here, which has a, a more deeper, uh, rich maroon. I wanna say that's a maroon. Get some on the end of the brush there, a little tap. We got a little bit more fall off, a little bit more fall off with the sangria. Fall out. Fall out. A little bit more fall out with <laughs> the sangria. And here I'm just going to be uh, paying attention to that outer V in the eye. I'm starting in, working my way out, and just, just a little pop of color. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, look at that. I'm trying to get in these. It's really providing some accents on like the creases at the outer edges of my, my eyes. And now to round things out and provide some balance, I'm still using, using the Morphe E17 here, but uh, I'm just gonna go along the bottom edge of the eyelid. And uh, gotta be very careful here, this larger brush, but here goes. Oh yeah, that's subtle. Oh yeah, so pretty. Obviously I look amazing already, but uh, just to finish things off and give a nice pop, I'm gonna take a sparkly color, which uh, we have some nectar in here. It's got a bit of a shimmer. bit of shimmer to it. I'm just gonna get a little of that, a little of that on my pinky here. I'm just gonna lightly accent the, oh wait, that was the inside. Inner corner of the Inner eye. corner of the eye. <laughs> it's like that, oh yeah. That's, that's really making it pop there. Ever so gently. Dab. Oh yeah, see, and that, and that really, as you can see, gives that nice shimmer, finishes, finish things, finishes things off wonderfully. Also for a, a balancing effect here, uh, we're gonna put another little pop of that shimmer, just right here under the arch, under the highest point of the eyebrow, just a little bit, a little bit more shimmer in there. Uh, 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 that's beautiful. Next up, we're moving on to some eyeliner. And since this is more of a daytime look, maybe a day to night look, uh, we're going with the Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner. And this is in a French Navy. So not quite as dark, um, but I'm just gonna unscrew this. And then along the eyelash line, just right above, I'm just gonna slowly poke at it just a little bit at a time. And they're just, they're just filling in. They're just ever so gently filling in the space in between the eyelashes. Oh, that's coming out great. That looks amazing. Don't worry about messing up here. Uh, you can always smudge it out later. So don't don't give yourself a hard time. And you know, for, if you're just getting started, you might be a little nervous about this type of application. It's very close to the eye, but don't worry. After enough practice, you can eventually get to the point where I am, where it's just second nature. I just provide you guys a more accurate simulation. I've intentionally gone and done maybe not the best job in here. So I've got a, I've got a smudger here, and this is from Morphe, the E35. And I'm just gonna go ahead and smudge that down there. So anywhere it's built up, I'm just pushing it back where it's supposed to be, back into the eye, eyelashes and the space in between. As you can see, any any errors, mistakes you may have made along the way, they just they just blend right in. So with the eyes done to perfection, we're moving on to the rest of the face. So I have the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder right here. Uh, and this one, see right there. I'm just going to open up. It's got this upper portion here where some of the powder will, will reside. I'm just gonna get just ever so much. We're just switching over to an Eco Tools powder brush here. Just got a little bit on the tip there. And then we're gonna take the lid and just give it a nice swirl around there to evenly distribute the powder and the powder goes on the face. <laughs> and we don't need to apply this uh, over the eyes. Those are, those are already got makeup on them. Um, but of course, just wanna make sure we have a nice even distribution. Paying attention to the T-zone, of course. I understand the nose is part of the T-zone. Next, we're moving on to contouring, and uh, what we're gonna wanna pay attention to here is our cheekbones. We wanna highlight the cheekbones, giving ourselves a, a strong appearance of chiseled cheekbones, makes, makes you look more like a model or an actor or something. So um, you wanna kinda look at where the top of your ear is and your nose, and that's kinda where your cheekbone usually is, or you can feel for it. 
and uh, just under the cheekbone here is where I'm aiming for. So switching over to a, a shade and light brush, and this is from Kat Von D. Kat Von D. <laughs> Kat Von D. <laughs> Kat Von D. <laughs> Switching over to this shade and light brush from Kat Von D, and I'm actually going to be using the uh, darker colors down here, maybe Angle. And this is the Park Avenue Princess palette, which is one of my favorites. I'm also using this as a mirror, so set that back up real quick. Dark side, light side. So again, just getting, just getting a dusting of it on the brush here. A little tap off for the excess. And then just from, from right about under the eye to the outside, we're just gonna give us a nice Nice bit of darkened contour for the cheekbone. And now switching back to the Eco Tools brush, just going to uh, buff out any harsh lines here real quick. So make sure it's more of an even transition between the shading and the area where it's not applied. Okay. Moving on to blush, of course that's next. And uh, for that we have the Milani Powder Blush right here. This is a uh, Blossom Time Rose, it has a bit of a roll, rose gold finish to it. So I'm uh, just gonna pop this open and we're gonna use the Morphe E4 brush to apply. And it's got such a lovely bit of a contoured rose there on the, on the, on the outside. I hate to, to put any blemish on it, but just a, just a touch there again to apply some to the brush. So just a bit onto the brush again and then just apply right above the contour line just to give yourself a nice, nice healthy glow in the, in the upper cheeks and then to the outside. And of course, no look is gonna be complete without your highlighter. So here from Morphe, I have a new palette. This is called Babe in, Parada Babe in Paradise. And this is actually done in collaboration with Bretman Rocks, shout out. Uh, so here we have another nice set of different colors. Baby Girl is what I'm going for here. It looks mostly white, but it's going to give a nice little pop of color. This actually comes with a little fan brush as well. So we're just going to get a little bit, a little bit there onto the brush one more time. And we're just going to very gently apply this right above the cheekbone, just, just for that little, little bit of highlight up there. So really accent those cheekbones. It's very important. Cheekbones are one of the most important bones in the face. And uh, that's, that's looking great. <laughs> and the highlighter is applied. And finishing off the look, uh, of course, we gotta gotta do the lips. So for that, I've got the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. Uh, this is the Ink Blot Matte Color, and this is from their Butterfly Collection. So it's gonna be sort of a, a matte rose color here, and it's got a nice, very, very delicate applicator here. So I'm just gonna put on lipstick. Ah. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's the Joker look right there. If I ever told you how I got these scars. Obviously my application was perfect, but uh, we're, we're a little too matte here, so we're gonna finish this off with the Ultra Glossy Lip from ColourPop. And, oh yeah, this is, it's got kind of a goopy applicator. Now for this one, uh, we just wanna apply a little bit to the center of the lips and then we'll, we'll just smack the lips to apply it properly around. Oh, that's shiny. It feels so pretty. <laughs> well, all right guys, this is the finished look and I'm sure a lot of you at home are gonna wanna recreate this. So of course I'll put links to the various products I've used down in this video's description. And of course, a big thank you to all of you guys for supporting me in my transition of my YouTube channel from focusing on technology and computer hardware to makeup and makeup products. This has been the first ever video for Paul's facials and, wait, what is it again? Makeup. This has been the first video ever for Paul's skincare and makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out, of course, and subscribe for more makeup tutorials like this one. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. How does one, how does one close their eye to the, such a... You keep your eye open and look up. Like, look down. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, I have a nice matte finish. No glossy finishes allowed on Paul's face wear. <laughs> Paul's... <laughs> Paul's... <laughs>
<laughs> my face keep doing that. And then look, squint a little bit, and squint, and then you. Oh, I think I got it. Yeah. I think I got it. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Too high. Too high. Too high. <laughs> okay, I'm on. So, like, this is gonna be a daytime look, so you don't want it to be too dramatic. <laughs> so. Okay. Am I doing the bottom too? Um. E no. <laughs> Ow. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make your cheeks the um the focal point of your look. Bye, bitch. What is this? <laughs> it's um it's a new highlighting palette from Morphe. Um, okay. Made in a lippy stick in ink blot. This is from their butterfly butterfly collection. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that. <laughs> This is from their butterfly collection. I hope you, if you want to recreate this look or, <laughs> or if you try this look on your own, you can tag me in your Instagram. Uh, I, already got, I already got lipstick on it. <laughs> okay, one last final thing before I go. Uh, this video would not have been possible without my wife. And much of the inspiration came from a lot of videos she's been watching. So that's where this all originated from. Uh, guys, if you think she should make her own <laughs> makeup channel, uh, let me know in the comments section, because I'm kind of encouraging her. But uh, this is Diana. Say hi. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.